So what are the general principles of food law that a food business operator operating at the level of primary production must comply with? If they place feed on the market, it must be safe. If they feed food producing animals, the feed must be safe. They need to have traceability in place. They need to know who they've purchased feed from and who it's been supplied to. If feed is found to be unsafe, they need to be able to implement withdrawal and recall as appropriate. If they advertise or label feed, it shouldn't be misleading. What is feed hygiene and who is responsible for it? Feed business operators operating at the level of, of primary production are responsible to ensure that they've got measures and conditions necessary to control hazards. Hazards can be physical, chemical, microbiological, and they need to ensure fitness for animal consumption of feed, taking account its intended use. So what is feed hygiene and who is responsible? Feed business operators are responsible for feed hygiene on farm. It's the measures and conditions necessary to control hazards, to ensure fitness for animal consumption of feed, taking account its intended use. So what are hazards? Hazards have got the potential to cause an adverse effect um, on animals eating feed. Oh no, start again, that's wrong. Still rolling. Still rolling, so I can just start when I want to, okay. So what are hazards? Hazards have the potential to cause an adverse health effect to animals eating feed and humans consuming animal products. There are three types of hazard, biological, physical and chemical. An example of a biological hazard on farm could be salmonella. Examples of physical hazards could be glass, metal, stones and packaging. Chemical hazards could be something like veterinary medicines, dioxins, pesticides, mycotoxins. How are these hazards introduced? They're introduced in a number of ways, through people, equipment, processes, handling, storage and transport. So how could dioxins, for example, cause a problem on farm? They could potentially contaminate forage crops grown in the vicinity of certain industrial processes e.g. an incinerator. They could be introduced if contaminated fuels are used in the drying process of feed products. They could potentially be inherent in a product, for example clay minerals. What is primary production of feed? This is defined in the feed hygiene regulations. It's the production of agricultural products which includes growing, harvesting, milking, rearing of animals prior to slaughter and fishing, resulting in products which do not undergo any other operation other than something like a simple physical treatment. Primary production also includes associated operations, for example, transport, storage, handling of primary products at the place of production on farm transport to deliver products from the place of production to an establishment, so from farm to a feed mill. Mixing feed for the exclusive requirements of their own holdings on farm without additives or pre-mixtures of additives, with the exception of silage additives. We need to consider some examples of what would constitute a simple physical treatment in which case the feed business operator would be classified as a primary producer. Something like sodium hydroxide to soften grain would be considered a simple physical treatment. The air drying of grain would be another example. An example of when something wouldn't be considered a simple physical treatment would be convection drying of cereals with the use of oil or gas. They wouldn't be considered a primary producer. So what are the responsibilities under the feed hygiene regulations that a primary producer has got to comply with? They need to be registered with the local authority. A registration is a declaration that the feed business operator is complying with the operational standards laid down in the feed hygiene regulations. A farmer who is simply an arable farmer growing crops will be registered under the activity code R14. 
A farmer who is mixing with complementary feeds which contain additives would be registered under the activity code R11. A farmer who's mixing with straight additives and premixtures wouldn't be classified as a primary producer. They would be subject to higher operational standards under the provisions of Annex 2 of the Feed Hygiene Regulations and would be classified as an R10 activity code. An R13 farmer would be a farmer who wasn't mixing or was feeding a complete feed to his animals. An R11, an R13 and an R14 farmer are subject to the operational standards laid down in Annex 1 and 3 where they're feeding food producing animals of the feed hygiene regulations. Farmers should only source feed from registered establishments. As part of officers inspections it's important to ascertain that the feed materials that are sourced are sourced from businesses that are registered So what are the requirements under the Feed Hygiene Regulations in respect of primary producers? They need to be registered with the local authority. A registration is free, it's a declaration of compliance with the relevant operational standards. The activity that the primary producer is undertaking governs the registration activity code for which they'll be registered. The different activities that can be undertaken at the level of primary production are available in the supporting materials. What is important, and an officer must ascertain when on farm, is that the feed materials and the complementary feeds that have been fed to the animals are only been sourced from registered or approved establishments. In respect to the feed hygiene regulation, local authority feed enforcement officers don't have responsibility for specified additives and veterinary medicines that have been incorporated into animal feed on farm. They're subject to the requirements of the Veterinary Medicine Directorate and they would receive a separate inspection by that agency.